Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 view and today we're doing another episode of Coloured Solar System so it's been a while since I've done an episode of this because obviously a few weeks ago maybe almost a month now I did the lime green solar system you guys really really enjoyed this so would you like me to release this system because I'm doing a live stream tomorrow as well so it may um, be a good time to release this because um, I can't remember if I asked you guys in the other episode but yeah do you guys want me to release this solar system? So it contains all of those modded objects as well. And I know a lot of people really wanted the lime green gas giant modded objects with the crazy bands and stuff. So, for instance, this object right here. Do you guys want me to uh, release this system with these crazy modded objects um, tomorrow in Discord during the live stream? Yeah, let me know um, what you want down below. And I'll see live stream is tomorrow as well. The 4,000 subscriber special live stream um, in Subscribers Universe. So we're going to try and finish off that insanely large system. So I haven't worked on it for a while. I want to try and finish it tomorrow. So, yeah, stay tuned for that tomorrow. Because, um, yeah, that should be quite a lot of fun. I'll see a place to just chill out. We could do a live Q&A as well if you guys want. Also, let me know down below in the comments if you want to see that. But, yeah, most importantly, let me know. Do you want me to release the Lime Toria or the Lime Green Solar System here? Do you want me to release it? Let me know down below because we can get that done easy, no problem. But anyways, um, today we're going to be moving on to a new colour. But before I get into that, you've probably already seen it in the title on here. But before I get into it, I just want to say a quick thank you as always. Because we are almost at 4,400 subscribers. Like, I can't thank you guys enough. It is absolutely crazy. Like, we are just climbing to 5,000. If we're lucky, we may be able to get it before November or something. And then a road to 6,000 before the new year, maybe. Like... That would be absolutely amazing. Obviously, for everyone who's subscribed, likes the videos, continues watching every video, just can't thank you enough. You guys are the best fans in the world. It is absolutely crazy, and I cannot believe it. And, yeah, remember, 4,000 subscribers special live stream tomorrow, because, yeah, I've been delaying it for a bit, because, obviously, I was on holiday when I hit that uh, milestone. So, yeah, <laughs> let's um, get that stream done once and for all, right? But, yeah, anyways, let's go into a new simulation now. And let's begin. So, as you've seen by the title, we are doing a cream coloured solar system today. So, first of all, we'll start with a background. So, cream is like a white, very, very yellowy white, very, very bright sort of colour. So, it would be, let's go to, yeah, just use any of these templates. Uh, which one do I want to use? Space blue. Yeah, this one, this one usually works quite well. So, right. So, cream would be colors like this like a very 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 light yellow stuff like this this was probably the best way i could describe a cream color. it's some, something like this i'd say is cream so yeah i think we're going to have a background like that i want to have a bit of like mixture of different like cream shades in here as well so yeah something like this we want to make star intensity the brightest okay and there there we go so that is cream so yeah we are going to roll with that i'm going to turn ambient brightness off and there we go so that is our cream system so i'm just going to save it and call it cream system for now just so i have the background save in case anything goes wrong okay cool now i've got some templates to use as well today so um that should be um pretty fun as well so the star how should we go with a star well we're going to need a yellow a sort of yellowy white star that would be the best um to fit for this system here so what should i use hmm there's so many stars here and actually, going back to all these objects here with Subscribers Universe, once I've finished Season 1, I'm actually going to clean this um, menu out because there is so many objects in here, as you can see. Like, it is way, way, way too many, if you ask me, and I need to definitely clean them out. So, right. What should I use? Hmm, it's quite hard, actually, for stars. I'm just going to go with um, this star here. This is quite a large star. It's a yellow hypergiant, one of the rarest star types. And already it looks like it actually fits the background quite well, if you ask me. Maybe I'll leave it the way it is. I actually, I think that actually fits quite well, the background. A very, a cream sort of colour there. Yeah, I'll leave it, I'll leave it yellow the way it is. So, yeah, we're going to be using Rio Cachafio today. I can never say this, but yeah, this, this net object here, we're going to be using this. So it's quite a large star. It's always, it's in my size comparison videos as well. It's pretty big. Um, and it's a yellow hyper giant, so a very, very rare star. So yeah, there's it's all of its stats. So it's quite a bright star. So if we go to Hattle Zone, it's quite a big thing. So we can definitely build an interesting system today. So there we go. All right. So the first planet. So if I search Cream, we'll have a few templates to use here. So I have um, 
got a few templates here which I can use and I've set up for this video. So yeah, check this out. So we've got light or dark cream, lighter cream, and Venus cream, and beige cream. So we've got four templates here. These two black ones here were built off the cream mercuries, which I just retextured them. So yeah, we've got all of those, and then we've got some gas giants to use as well, which we'll get onto afterwards. Actually, let's start with a gas giant. We don't need to do that. So a gas giant. So I want to search or look for the champagne object we have here. Oh, there it is, champagne. This is probably the closest gas giant to cream I have. So let's have it quite close to the star as well. Let's have it as like a hot sort of Jupiter. So let's put it around there. Okay, so champagne. So this is the um, cream gas giant, or closest object I have to cream. So there it is there. So it does fit quite well. And also one thing we'll be using as well is Saturn. Saturn is a very cream object. As we can see, there's a comparison with Saturn there. They are very similar. This is a modded object though. Um, it's not a re-made like made Saturn. This is a completely different object. But yeah, Saturn is definitely an object we can use in today's episode since it does fit the uh, requirements. So yeah, Champagne, we're gonna have you here. I don't really know what to name um, this star or anything. So I guess we'll just leave them the way they are for now. Maybe I'll think of something after. So Champagne, we'll just leave you um, cool Champagne there. So if we click play, you're probably going to warm up so we're going to have you at a temperature where we can still see the color of the planet but so it does have a bit of um temperature on it as well so okay yes um let's leave it there okay so now we just need to wait for it to heat up so here we go so champagne okay so we need to just make this a little higher until we get like a mix yeah something like this this is what i want so it has a bit of obviously temperature you can see the glowing on it but it still um has the color of the champagne or the cream so yeah there we go so champagne is our first object and let's have it as quite a large guy as well let's go into the jupiters so let's go with about four jupiters this would be like a hot puffy planet jupiter hot jupiter sort of um object here so there it is there so there we go i know puffy planets have got like some weird things to do with density i'm not quite sure on that um but yes yeah, so, so this is definitely a hot jupiter though since it is quite warm not the hottest of jupiters but yeah still quite hot compared to what our planets are anyway so there we go let's make it just so it's tilted exactly perfect okay there we go now an object like this will definitely wouldn't have any moons so we're definitely going to be adding any to fill champagne there so four jupiters a mass okay perfect we'll leave orbit switched on as well even though we can barely see this guy's orbit since the starlight or star brightness with the color of the background just makes it completely hidden uh, anyway we'll move on so um the next object let's go back to cream okay so yeah i've got a few different templates to use so the first one I'm going to use, I believe dark cream is a bit more of a Venus sort of atmosphere. So I think it's a little thicker. So we can definitely um, make use of that as a Venus-like world. We actually used this in the last video when we improved Saturn's moons. This I used this object as one of the objects in there. Okay, um, anyways, let's go to lighter cream. Let's have this as our first rocky planet. So let's put it on a slight tilt as well, like that. iPad, please, can you be quiet? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but um, yeah, it's quite annoying. So yeah, lighter cream. This guy is obviously heated up way, way, way too much right now. So let's definitely increase the albedo down. Or increase the albedo up, sorry. It needs to reflect more light. So there we go. So let's get it all the way down. We, yeah, this guy needs to reflect a lot of light if we want it. So it's, yeah, it's just a black object right now. So we need to give it its color back. So let's give it a creamy sort of yellow color. So there we go. There we go. That's definitely a cream sort of object there so let's continue and then the last object or last color we'll go is a, like a darker sort of cream something like that or maybe let's go with a brighter cream there we go something like that i think that's um looking quite good obviously there's a bit of like orange on it from the heat of the planet as well so yeah that's lighter cream now let's add a very very low atmosphere on it of only a hundred kilograms don't even know if we can see it we need to increase it there we go so there's the atmosphere so now it's like a venus where it's got an atmosphere and the clouds are big so if you didn't know the only way to get clouds is to have it around 500 degrees without any water or to have it with water and around 20 degrees you can't you have to have water at a low temperature to get clouds on the planet or you have to have no water at a really high temperature to get clouds so yeah we've got clouds now because if we add water these clouds will just disappear and then we'd have to lower it all the way to about 20 degrees or anywhere between zero and 100 degrees the clouds usually appear with water but obviously if you've got no water you've got to have it a lot higher in temperature but yeah that is looking really cool with the clouds the atmosphere color yeah that is definitely a cream object so i'm um, looking good i really don't know what to call it as well so we'll just leave it with the name it has so lighter cream we can also release this system or, or any of the systems like in the live stream tomorrow we could i could release all of my color systems that i still have because i have lost a few i think i lost some like the red and the orange system maybe i could remake them someday um, if you guys want to see that 
because obviously I, yeah, I don't have them anymore. I, I didn't save them for some reason, which is really stupid of me, but yeah, no, it kind of sucks. Let's make this guy a little larger as well. Let's go up about, let's make it a little or smaller than Venus. So it's about five, nine, eight. Well, just a random number there. So 66 masses of moon. So that's almost one enough, but comparing it to Venus, um, let's just quickly go to Venus here. So Venus is a little bigger, as we can see, just a tad bit. As we see, Venus is 6,052. This is 5,981. So very, very close to Venus indeed, but just a little smaller. But more of a Mercury-like object with a thinner... So it's like a, this is sort of a mix between Mercury and Venus. It's not got a completely thick atmosphere, but it still has a cloudy atmosphere, even though the atmosphere mass is very, very low compared to what Venus is. But yeah, it's sort of, the visual appearance looks like a mix between Mercury and Venus there, so... Yeah, there is lighter cream. That's our first rocky planet of the day. And I won't add any moon to these guys as well. Okay, next up, we're going to go with another cream um, object here. So let's... um, or, What am I saying? Another cream object. Well, it's got to be cream. But yeah, we're going to go with another rocky cream object is what I should have said. So we're going to have... We're going to use the beige cream this time around. So let's have it a lot further out. So we've got our two, like, inner planets. And we've got a little gap between the next planet here. So um, if I can actually go to the object, that'd be nice. So... Wait, where is it? Oh, is it being destroyed? Hang on, that's not good. Oh, God, it's getting really small. It hasn't got much mass, it looks like. Let's quickly fix that. 50 moons. There we go. So, beige cream is resurrected. Oh, no, we don't even have access to the colours. Let me quickly put a new one in. And then delete the original. Then this guy will need to make your mass a lot higher. So, let's put you up to... Let's just go have one Jupiter just so it stabilises. So, clay. Oh, my God. Instant. It's instantly just got roasted. Okay, what is up with this guy? Oh, that's why. Look at this. That's quite a lot of ATM. No wonder it burnt out. Let's take that atmosphere off. Now, there we go. There we go. God, this poor planet was literally just got incinerated. Anything on there would have just vaporized in seconds with that much ATM. Damn, that was crazy. Okay, let's just go over the same atmosphere as Mercury here. A thousand or ten thousand kilograms in mass. So that's the same as Mercury. So play. Now we need you to cool down. We need a bit, a lot more albedo just to get you a lot cooler. So this will be more like a Mercury-like object. So it's not as hot as the one previously with that atmosphere, but it's still not cold enough to be below zero. So we're going to have it reflecting quite a lot of light. Obviously, we're going to give it a little atmosphere. Okay, let's go over... Um, there we go. So let's do that. So, yeah, there's no clouds on this guy. There's, oh, I know, is there, I know there is clouds. Yeah, because it's still 500 degrees. But if we lower the temperature, those clouds will disappear. So let's keep going here. And now let's see what they disappear when the planet gets too cold. So... Wow, even at this distance, the planet's still hot. So it's got to reflect quite a lot of light to still have that. Because if we make it 98%, it increases a little more. But there we go. I think that's um, looking good. So there's a bit of clouds there. And this object's rotating really weird as well. So, yeah, we're going to... Um, yeah, I think this guy's slightly... Yeah, it's definitely going quick. I can't... I don't know if it's rotating in more than one direction. Because sometimes you can get objects rotating like this and this at the same time. But I don't know how you do it anymore. Because they changed the... Since they changed the controls, I don't know how you can make a planet rotate down like this while it's doing this as well, so it'd be more like rotating like this. But I don't really know how to get it to rotate like this anymore, because now it just rotates left or down, depending on what it's tilted. But I want it to like be so weird that it's comp the complete opposite from being tidally locked, where it's just spinning uncontrollably. Like, how do you do that? Like, there used to be a way on motion. There was three numbers you could change to make it rotate all in different directions and completely crazy, but I don't know where they are anymore. Like, you'd think it'd be on here, but it isn't, so I don't know what's up with that. So we're going to leave it the way it is, so I'm going to put it like that. Or can we go tidy locked? I kind of, I kind of want to do a tidy locked object as well. Let's go tidy locked. I'm, I'm going to roll with that. So this guy is now permanently... F one side of it is permanently facing the star. The other side is always in night time. So yeah, this side will always face the star now. So... Okay, it's still very, very um, crazy here. But you can see the infrared emission is actually making a difference. Look, when you have it on zero, 211. But if you have it all the way up, it goes up to 302. So it's almost about a 90 degree difference there. So let's have it all the way down. So it doesn't really get much at all. So have it around there. Okay, so that'll be our Mercury sort of like object there. So beige cream. So there we go. All right, perfect. So beige cream. There we are. So we've got three objects now in this system. Now let's go with an asteroid belt. So let's... Um, yeah, so how far away is this guy? So this guy is about 27 AU away. That's further than 
Neptune from our sun. So yeah, this is quite a large system already, just because of how large the star is. So we need to add a obviously an asteroid belt. So we're gonna go with asteroid belt. We need to obviously make the color manual. Let's go with cream. So bright yellow there. And then we want the inner radius to be yeah AU. We want it to be 28. And let's make it go all the way out to 34. There we go. So if we uh, add ring. There we go, there's a little asteroid belt, so nothing too large. Actually, let's go with a little bigger. So let's go from 28 to 37. There we go. So, yeah, that's looking a little better. I want it to be a little more spread out. So we've got obviously a cream-colored asteroid belt as well. Okay, perfect. Let's quickly throw a save in just in case I make a goof. Okay, there we go. So I don't want to goof it all up and then lose it. So, yeah, I have done that once before, and I have to delete the whole recording and start from scratch. So, yeah, not doing that again. So, yeah, beige cream here. So, yeah, you are now inside the inner. This will be our inner solar system now. So now we're going to move on to the outer or further outer areas. So we definitely need an Earth-like world in here. So we've not made one of those yet. So let's search cream up again. There we go. Go back to the custom objects. Wait for it to load. You're going to... Come on, find my cream objects game. Come on, just search it again. Seriously? Why don't they keep searching? Yeah, there we go. Right, cool. So... We could use one of the modified Mercury's only just honestly just to get a bit different, different surface texture. Yes, you it. Yeah. So um, yeah, Mr. Missile made some of these. So let's um, yeah, let's go down here, and then we're just going to leave it the, with the texture it already has since it's the unique Mercury texture. So there it is. They're slightly tinted as well, I believe, the surface of this guy. So yeah, it definitely fits the um, system quite well. Let's also put it on quite a crazy. Yeah, let's put it like that just to make it look really crazy. And then let's make it spin quite quick as well. So motion. Um, da -da, where is it? Here. Speed. No, I don't want that. I need rotational. Where, where is it? Oh, is it? oh, it's on here now. Yeah, there we go. Rotational period. So it takes 58 days. So we want to turn this into hours. Let's go with... Let's go with... S six hours. Look at this thing. <laughs> so this thing is crazy out of control in the speed it's turning at. So very, very crazy Mercury indeed. As you can see there. So we may have to put it to seven there we go. That's not really making a difference, but we are going at four days a second here. So, yeah, this little Mercury. So, um, let's also make it a little larger. Let's go 3183. There we go, just to make it a little larger there. So, perfect. So, looking good. So, cream Mercury. So, that's the first of the outer sort of objects outside that asteroid belt here. So, yeah, there we go. So, let's just call it, um, yeah, let's just leave it as cream Mercury. So, there we are. Right, now, let's try and make an Earth-like world. So this guy's also glowing in temperature as well, which is pretty cool. So, how much ATM? So I've we've got 1,000 kilograms as well. Yeah, we well, definitely, to make an Earth-like world, we've got to be really careful here. Okay, lighter cream or your Venus cream? So we already use lighter cream. Let's use Venus cream. So this is a thin version of Venus's atmosphere. So it's the same color as Venus's atmosphere, the, the normal Venus, but it's made thinner so we can see the surface. So let's have it here. Put it on a slight incline as well. Okay, so Venus cream. So it's already got the clouds. It's way too hot, so we're going to make sure that cools down. So it's nice and cool here. Infrared emergency, we pretty much want on nothing there. Wow, you got a really... This star is crazy. So, yeah, we got a really... Look at this. If we want to have it anywhere near 1 ATM, look at this. If we put it at 1, it's just probably going to go crazy. So we've got to have it... Okay, there we go. So we've got to keep it... So let's see how hot that gets. Obviously, we need to give it a surface as well. So maybe we could try and implement a green color in here. But I don't know how that's going to work. So what if we go for like a green cream? So that's a very that's a very light green cream. It doesn't really look like land though, does it? Or like a plants or anything. So there we go. So that's 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 a cream color there, a lighter cream. So let's try and give it a yes. Yeah, give it some water. Okay, so that works. How large is this guy as well? Okay, let's make it around an Earth in size. So let's go with 1.3, no, 1.4 Earths. There we go. Let's make it a little larger in radius. Perfect. Okay, so now we just need to lower the water. So there we go. Let's just keep clicking till it gets lower. Come on. There we go. So, oh, this reminds me of all the before we could customize colors of planets. You always got these boring looking objects like this. And this was probably the, be the best you could get as an Earth-like planet back in the day. Before this before this menu existed, so it would have been like this. You couldn't change the colour, and you just had to get what you'd spawn in, pretty much. But, yeah, you probably would have got objects like this. But, um, anyways, um, let's call it um, Earth... I don't know, Earth Cream. <laughs> I don't know. So, it's only at 5 degrees right now, so let's lower the albedo again. 
So, oh wow, that one percent makes a huge difference there. So we'll have this as a or this would be more of a warmer planet. Thirty-two degrees is livable. It's just um, a lot hotter. Yeah, thirty-two degrees Celsius. That's oh, that's quite hot. That's what it's been. Well, no, Europe's actually been hotter than this over this summer. So yeah, pretty crazy stuff. But yeah, that temperature is manageable as long as it's not above forty. That's where it gets really crazy. But yeah, thirty-two or thirty-two is definitely a manageable temperature. So one thing we can do as well is we can wait. How quick does this guy rotate? Okay, rotor test speed is fifty-eight days to so hours. Let's pull it to. Let's go with 20 hours. So it spins a little quick, a little quicker than Earth does. So there it is there. So this would be the Pacific Ocean of this world, I guess. The, the biggest water source. Or the biggest um, ocean. And then we've got, this would be more of an Atlantic area there. So let's wait for it to turn around again. So that would be the Pacific sort of um, area. And then this area here reminds me of the Atlantic for some reason. I don't know, it's not as big, but you can't really resemble this with Earth in any way. And the land's completely different. But yeah, Earth cream, that looks good. Um, let's check its stats here. 90 similarity, it's not bad. And then likelihood's 44. Honestly, not bad for a planet in with a star that crazy. And obviously, we've had to give it a very high albedo. And obviously, it doesn't have one ATM either. If we gave it, if we give it one ATM, it's going to heat up a lot more. I'm guessing. So we have to keep an eye on that because uh, to get the highest life likelihood, you got to have it around one ATM because that's. See, look, it was at 44, but now it's at 64. So we've got an extra 20% for making it the correct um, ATM there. So, yeah, if you want to if you want to go for a really high number on likelihood, you've got to have um, one ATM around that. Okay, what, what's this guy doing now? Don't I know? No, we'll keep it at 97. No, no, not 96, 97. There we go. Let's lower that as well. So no infrared efficiency at all on this guy. So 64.5. Okay, I can roll with that. That's not too bad. It's also got a magnetic field as well. I can't even see the magnetic field. I'm guessing it's so small we can't see it. So let's go with it, I don't know, two. There we go. So it's got a magnetic field protecting it from that star. So let's go with about 10. There we go. Not really too smart on magnetic fields. But yeah, we go. we've got a bit of magnetic field there. So there is that. So that's Earth cream. So let's also give this guy a, a few moons. So we'll go with two moons since this object will be large enough to have some moons. So yeah, we won't go with any... Um, atmosphere moons so let's put one moon here so we'll use the dark cream obviously we'll strip the atmosphere off completely as well there we go no atmosphere for you obviously you need to make the planet smaller as well so let's go over about one or moon sorry we need to make the moon smaller let's go for thousand and one let's go auto orbit obviously let's get rid of those underscores in the name so there we go like that so dark cream obviously let's get rid of this black and make it a lot brighter there we go because we need it to still look like cream that's more of a brown right now so we need to definitely turn that brown into a cream there we go that that's that's definitely a cream like object more of like a chocolate cream i'd say is what i get from that but you still it still fits the color of cream because obviously cream would fit a lot of different color shades so there's definitely gonna be different shades and different um, versions of like we've got like lighter cream and we've got like, like a chocolate sort of cream is what i'm getting from this but yeah i'd still say this um this should be allowed for this system here so there we go. One moon, then 1001. So control D, get rid of all those particles. And there we go. That's looking good. So, um, oh no, it's still smoking. Okay, we need to. Let's go have two moons. Hopefully that will stop it. So, that smoking effect is so annoying. And I absolutely hate it when it appears. So, okay, I may make it a little lighter. There we go. Okay, cool. So, dark cream is now opting earth cream. And then let's go with one more moon as well. So, let's go with. Let's go with another lighter cream. So, let's put it over there. There we are. So lighter cream. This does have an atmosphere. You know what? Let's keep the atmosphere on it. It's not going to be um, causing any harm. So here we go. Let's make it. Well, actually, let's make it a really light cream. So it's a bit a very very light sort of color there. Pretty much the lightest it can go before it turns white. So there we go. Let's try that. So a very very bright cream indeed. There we go. So don't really think I can get it much lighter than that because that's almost looking white. So. Yeah, that's pretty much the highest we can get for it. So, um, yeah, just call it um, light cream moon. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm never good at these names. Then let's make it a little larger in size as well. So let's go. Let's just make it a little smaller. So let's go 3.1 moons. There we go. Perfect. So it's only 300 degrees here. Let's make it a little colder. Let's make it reflect a lot of light. So it'd be like Enceladus. So let's reflect a lot of light. There we go. Maybe add a bit of water. I know it doesn't want to do water. Okay, we won't do water then. Okay, control D. Let's re add the atmosphere since it got quite went away there. So yeah, not a very big atmosphere at all. 
Okay, so that's going to reflect a lot of light. So if we get to zero degrees, it will start getting colder, which is what I want to see. So there we go. So light cream moon and then dark cream around earth cream. So there it is. That is um, the first water world in this system now. So there it is there, orbiting the star here. Now let's um, take a bigger jump. And let's go to, yeah, another, another, yeah, another light, lighter cream. So I'm going to put you over here. Now let's see if we can have like a frozen earth or a colder earth. Let's see if we can uh, do that. So this guy is immediately warming up in temperature again. Okay, so we can increase that albedo up. Obviously give it its color. So there we go. Now that's if we've got way too much red in it. We need to fix that first color. So there we are. Looking good. And then, yeah, I'm actually going to leave the, the grey there. Or let's just, yeah, the black. We're gonna, I'm going to leave that there just to get a different, get some more variety here. So let's call it, let's space this maybe off a mix between Earth and Mars. So it's still, the star here is still so powerful. Like what what colour in the zone are we in? We're still in the red area? Oh my. We're still in the red area, damn. So we are very close to the star <laughs> in its um, zone. Obviously. That star is very luminous, so... Okay, let's see how it doing. So let's make this guy a lot bigger as well. So let's go with um, 1.5 Earth masses. This is the largest planet so far, I think. Actually, you know, let's go with 4.6. I want it to be about 10,000. There we are. Stay, stay around 10,000, please. Okay, 9,200. That's good enough. So now I want to add a bit of water to it. Okay, there we go. Wow, one click and it gets rid of it. Wow, seriously. Uh, come on. Okay, so yeah, I don't want much water on this. I want it to be quite empty with the amount of water on it. And I want it to be quite cold as well. So yeah, this planet will not contain lots of water. So there we go. Okay, so increase the albedo a lot. I want it to be just around zero degrees, just so we get a bit of white water. So, okay. So yeah, that water is going to turn um, white once it gets cold enough. How cold is this going to go, though? So that's going to freeze up. So it's getting warmer again. So I need to work out about minus 20. You're gonna, so it's still getting colder at minus 20. Okay. So let's put it to 0 0.97. Still getting colder at 0 0.96. Still getting colder at 93. Okay, so now you're getting warmer again. So let's go 0 0.92. So I want it to be around 0 to minus 10. That's the sort of area I want it. So minus 10. So it's getting a little colder again. Because I want the clouds to still be here. So... Okay, 0 0.91, are you going to stay? I do not want it going into positive temperatures. Okay, that's what I want. So it's still going to get colder. So if we speed up time here, it's still going to be below zero, but it's not cold enough for the clouds to disappear. That's what I want. Looking good. So it's got a lot of ocean on this side, as we can see. But on this side, there's not any ocean at all. So yeah, there we go. I like that. So lighter cream. Let's call it uh, frozen cream. So fro frozen cream. I don't know. I don't, these names are just bad, aren't they? Frozen, frozen cream. There we go. Looking good. All right. Let's um, move on. So, frozen cream. There we go. All right. Looking good. Wow. I've almost done this for half an hour now. Jeez. And we're still going. Um, still got plenty of stuff to do here. Okay. Now, I want to have an enormous gas giant. So we're going to be using Saturn for this one. So we're going to have it a lot further out as well. You can see Earth Cream's orbit is slightly wobbling, but that's due to its moon. So let's keep an eye on that though. Make sure it doesn't. Uh, mess up okay so those guys are all looking good yeah it's just wobbling a little bit the planet is still fine i'm guessing maybe we should lower this guy a bit let's go to 2.1 just to keep it at bay there we go so there we go um dark cream because you've got two moons as well so let's lower you a bit there we go increase the albedo up on me oh let's make you reflect a lot of light as well yeah, the, the moon closest to the planet can never have a lot of mass, otherwise it always makes the other moons go all weird, so here we are. Okay, that should make it a little more stable now, so let's keep an eye on that. Okay, so yeah, we've got Saturn now. So this is a, a nice 27 degrees, but we want to make the sky really big, so let's go give Saturn some proper mass. So 6 Jupiter mass Saturn, oh, look at that. Still gets smaller, it's all the density. Okay, what about 10 Jupiters? Oh, that is big. Yeah, this, that's annoying. Go over 20. Now make it a brown dwarf. Oh, what happened? No, Saturn. Why is your texture changed? What's happened here? Seriously? Why, why are you going to do this to us? There we go. Let's uh, delete that. Okay, so I want your radius to be... Oh, 200,000. <laughs> oh, look at this. 12 Jupiters. So play. Look at this thing. 
So how hot is this going to... I don't want it to turn to a brown dwarf, but... Yeah, look at the size of this Saturn. Oh, look at that. I mean, we could add Saturn's views in here, but now nah, be too... There's too much stuff, that, or too many real objects. So yeah, the Saturn is a cream colour here, so... There we go. So hopefully that doesn't say a brown dwarf. This is a very, very large object, so it needs to be... Hit. Pretend this is a failed star, maybe. So it's like Jupiter in our solar system. Some people say it could have been a failed star. So yeah, this object here, I'll, I'll say this is a failed star, just because it's quite big. But obviously it doesn't have enough mass, but um, oh well. So, yeah, Saturn. So let's call it a uh, big, big cream. <laughs> I don't know. Big, big, big cream. There we go. No, no, why don't I put two Cs? There we go. So big cream. So it's like my big rock gas giant and stuff. I actually want to compare this to the largest exoplanet. So let's see here. So this is the largest exoplanet compared to big cream. So this thing is quite big. Like we'll compare it to Jupiter. Yeah, this is quite a large gas giant. So big cream. How far away are you from the star? You're quite good. Quite a far distance here. 414 AU. Okay. So that's good. So a massive distance between a frozen cream and big cream here. So that's looking good. Not the most inclined system ever, but they don't have to be all inclined to be interesting, so there is that. Okay, so moons. We're definitely I definitely want to put a moon in here. So Yeah, we definitely have an earth light moon. I really want an earth light moon. So search up cream again. Okay, dark cream, you are definitely getting used this time around. So let's give dark cream a place there. Then we'll have a Venus cream a little closer. So there we go. Beige cream. So we'll put one of each template here. So like that there we go so it's got four moons like jupiter so four four decently sized moons and we can we can add some asteroids in but they're not going to be any color they won't be colorful or anything like that so yeah they're not really too interesting so let's um, continue here so there we go so we'll have um yeah we'll have one moon that's quite hot so the moon closest to saturn here we'll, we'll base it like io but it'll be uh, hot due to atmosphere not volcanoes so we can have it quite close to uh, Big Cream here. So there's it. Oh, that's quite a cool view, actually. So yeah, I want you to have a very crazy atmosphere. So let's go with 2 ATM. Hopefully that will get you warmed up. So let's put it to zero degrees. Let that bad boy warm up. So 5 ATM, maybe. How about, so 4.49 meters. Okay, we'll leave it. Actually, just to make it a little different from the original template, we'll do that. So there it is there. Some of the moons are vaporizing. Oh, I forgot about beige cream. No, we've got to remove your atmosphere straight away. Get out of here. There we go. So put it back to zero degrees. Cool that guy down. There we go. So yeah, Venus cream. Want you to warm up right now. So definitely gonna have to make you a lot more ATM. So obviously it's a lot further from the star now. So yeah, we're gonna need um, a lot more ATM. And actually, what I'm gonna do with big cream here. I'm going to make you spin really quickly. So this is going to be a very rapidly spinning object. So 10 hours, we're going to lower that to 3 hours. So this guy is going to be spinning very, very quickly um, for an object of its size, I believe. So there's that. Beige cream looks like it's already got the job done for temperature here. Oh no, it's still cooling down actually. That was the one we just fixed. Okay. Come on, warm up. 20. We'll increase in for element as well. Lower this. Can we get to 200 maybe? Nah, nah, doesn't want to. Okay. 100 ATM. No, he's still not having it. Not a fan. It's, it's cooling down. Okay, beige cream. I guess we'll use you as our uh, um, volcanic object then. Or, or hot planet. So, what about 100 ATM on you? See, look, you work. Why doesn't this one work? It's, oh, it is a little larger. Maybe it's because it's larger, I'm guessing. So, if we uh, drag Venus cream out, bring beige cream in. There we go. So, all to orbit on you, and then you. There we go. So, yeah, let's just check you out. So... Here we are. Right, beige cream. So 180 and we're very close to the planet as well. We may need to make you a little less in size. Let's go with one Earth. That will change your temperature, but that's not a problem. So 0.5 Earths. So I don't want it being too much mass close to the big planet. So, oh my God, whoops. Okay, so um, we sort of had a bit of a roosh limit problem there. So increase the albedo up. Or is it tidal heating, which is causing this? Let's see. Maybe tidal heat. It's got a thousand ATM. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. If we lower that, is that going to do anything? Is it a little too close to the planet? A little further away. Maybe it's like there, maybe. So yeah, this guy really likes to get hot really quickly. So what about 500 ATM? So that's halved it. Come on, need. I want you to be around 700, six, 700 degrees. 250. 
increase our beta even more. Come on, come on, there we go. We're almost there. Just a little bit more. 700, there we are. That's what I want. So, there we go. Then you, I want to have um, a lot dar a darker colour on you. There we go. So, it's still got the cream on it, but it's more of a volcanic look to it. So, there we go. And yeah, we'll make we'll make this colour black as well, I think. And then this colour, I'm going to make it more of a lighter cream. There we go. So, it's a cream. Let's call it uh, Cream Kano. I don't know. Volcano Cream Kano. I don't know. I'm not good with these names. So, yeah, we've got that one there. So, pretend this heat is volcanoes, even though we can't really do that. I wish there was an option like climate mode to just switch on and off volcanic activity. That'd be so cool if you could do that. Yeah, I really want them to add like molten rock as a liquid or like a uh, material you can add on here. Oh, and liquid methane. They're like the two I want the most, but yeah, that'd be really, really cool. Uh, okay, um, anyways, next up we've got dark cream here. So, this guy will be more of a titan. We'll base this off titan. So, there we go. So let's call it um, Titan Cream. There we go, <laughs> Titan Cream. Okay, so it's yeah, it's a very dark um, brown like this template. So we need to make it a lighter cream color again. So it's, you can see the atmosphere on this guy is a lot more thick than the other atmospheres. So there we go. That's that's all cream below, but then it's got like the darker cream atmosphere on top of it. So looking good. We need to increase the albedo, lower this atmosphere down as well. So let's go with zero point. 0, 3 atm so that's not much i'll be there's a little more let's put it to zero degrees okay still warming up a bit so yeah i want it to be a titan so it needs to be cold at least so decrease infrared emissiency lower that greenhouse effect down okay let's um, see how that planet behaves or that moon sorry okay a venus cream okay so we've got another one of you this will be the earth like one we'll make this earth like so 123 degrees already 100 atm let's lower that to about 30 maybe 31 Let's increase the albedo as well. Play. No, we already are playing. Okay, so do this. Need a simulation to speed up a bit. Okay, so how are you going to work? So, yeah, we need to add some water to it. That's a really cool gas giant. I really like that Saturn. Okay, so there we go. So 1%. Okay, so how much of you do we need to uh, lower down? Come on. Click, click, click. Spam, spam, spam. Okay, um, let's also do this. Give a different surface texture. Okay, cool. So 60 degrees right now. Okay, so let's make it. Uh, can we go 10 atm? Speed you up. How are you gonna resist to that? Are you gonna still at 64 degrees, eh? Try and get it around 20, so something like there. There we go. So, okay, let's slow down time again. So, slow it down. There we go. Okay, so let's check the composition of you. 11, 80, 11 likelihood, that's not bad for an atmosphere of 10 ATM, yeah, that's not too bad, and then 83 similarity, okay, cool, it's got a massive island here, look at that, in the middle of the ocean there, okay, so let's keep going, kind of want to keep the mass the same, so if I change the mass, the atmosphere is all going to mess up, so we'll leave that the way it is, okay, and then the last object out here, Venus cream, I kind of want to leave it the way it is, like with the black and the cream atmosphere, just to give it a bit of uniqueness, so... I'm going to leave it, let's call it dark, or let's call it super dark cream. It's obviously got that very dark black atmosphere, or black surface, and it's got the cream atmosphere, so. There we go. I'll leave it with black, maybe we'll give it, there we go, we'll give it one colour of the cream, just to, just so it is cream, so. There we go. So a very unique object. Just like an opposite a version of Europa, instead of being like an all white object, it's more of an all black object there, so. Yeah, super dark cream around big cream so we've got titan cream we've got cream kano and then we've got venus cream so let's call it uh water water moon cream i don't know so there we go okay cool so water moon cream okay so that is a lot of cream objects now so i'm guessing we can end off with a few gas giants and then maybe a dwarf planet or something at the end so wow we've been going for 40 minutes almost now damn these time really passes when you're um, having fun with these systems so Right, let's go back to champagne again. I'm going to use another one of those. So, champagne, champagne, where are you at? What about you, Tour B? Let's see this. I think this is one of Sundown Gamers' objects. Uh, what color are you? You, any? Could we use you? What do you look like on flashlight mode? I mean, I guess. I, I know it has a bit of like light green and white in the top, but yeah, that still works. This will be. We'll make it an ice giant or something. Um, so, there we go. Obviously, I want to make you a little more inclined because we need a bit more inclined objects in here. So, there we go. Let's make you a lot 
um, more tilted. There we go. Let's give it a slight uh, change. There we go. That's looking good. Okay, cool. Right, perfect. Um, then the size, I want it around 30,000. So let's see how that works out. 128 Earth, so let's go with 111. Right, let's do that just to give it a random radius number. Okay, then I want your albedo to be quite high. So let's just call it Utura for this. So there we go. Okay, so yeah, I want you to cool down, so let's go over about minus 99. Are you going to warm up or get colder? There we go, so something like that should work. So you've got Utura there. Let's um, give it a slight incline as well. If you don't want it to tilt it a bit. Okay, so we've got Utura. Then I'm going to use Champagne again. So Champagne is here. There we go. And let's have you as our last. So there we go. And then and then we'll throw a bit more cream objects on the outskirts. So let's go with um, a lighter cream, then a Venus cream again, like that. Perfect. So this will this will be our complete system here. So I'm also going to add a, another Astro belt after Champagne. So Champagne, this Champagne is 1244 AU, and then this lighter cream is 19. So okay. So let's add rings. So there we go, Asherah belt, we're going to want the colour as cream again, so let's go, there we are, um, this, then the inner radius I want to about 1400, so your champagne here is, okay 1200, so we'll go with um, 1300, so then we'll go to 1800, so add ring, around the wrong object, control Z, we want to add it around the star, so add ring, and there we go. So there is that. I don't know if the Astro Belt I added earlier is still here because I may have removed it when deleting particles. Is it still here? Okay, we need to re-add that other Astro Belt between Cream Mercury and Cream Earth as well. So yeah, we've got another Astro Belt here. So then we've got obviously lighter cream out here. So yeah, the slash Champagne. So we'll call it Champagne 2. So Champagne I I. So there we go. And then this guy will make you a little larger. There we go. So yeah, this champagne will um, tip up the right way as well. Yeah, I'm not really planning nothing too many moons for this system. I think they'll be maybe a little too similar. So champagne I I, and then lighter cream out here. We're going to make you a frozen ice world since we don't have one of those yet. So it's had a lot of ice to it. We don't need to give it a surface color since it's all just ice. So there we go. Let's also make this guy quite small. So let's go with only 0 0.87 moons. There we go. So let's do that. Okay, hopefully there's no um, gas or particles that thing release but it's quite far away so it should be fine it's very cold here as well so it'll make it reflect a lot of light and then venus cream at the very end let's um give you a bit of ice as well so there we go but i do want a bit of your surface to show so there we go so then let's add a bit of water to it but not too much obviously so there we go just a t just a tiny bit of water just so i can see a bit of the surface and the water so there we go, let's keep adding here until it appears again. Okay, there we go. So, very careful. And there we go, it's just something like this. So, it's got not too much water on it, but it's still a decent amount. So, there we go. So, it's a mixture of cream and uh, like the ice on it. So, there we go, Venus cream. Let's make you um, a little large. It's got five moons. There we go. So, quite a small little um, object there as well. Let's call it uh, frozen. Oops, frozen. Rose, rose and cream. I don't know if I already called one that, but we'll call that one that as well. And then we'll call this one, I don't know, ice, ice cream. <laughs> there we go, ice cream. So there we go. So yeah, that is all of the objects. So perfect. So now we just need to add another Astro Belt back. So between beige and, oh no, cream between Mercury and Earth, I believe it was. That doesn't matter. I think it'll look better there anyway now. So it needs to be about 50 to um, 80 okay so let's add another asteroid belt yeah the one I added earlier between beige and mercury so material there we go so let's go 50 and then 80 let's do that add it to the start add ring and there we go so we've got another asteroid belt so we've got one there and then we've got one all the way out here so there we go looking good now with the last the dwarf planets to give them make them a little more unique as well we'll give them a one of these we'll make it a little more eccentric so 0 0.01 there we go no 0 0.9 
Gary, that's a little more um, interesting. And then this guy here will give you one. Oh, that's way too much. Oh, that's like Sedna now. <laughs> oh, 0 0.1. Okay, 0 0.9 or 0 0.5. I want it to be... There we go. That's the that's looking better. And then uh, Champagne will give you a slight incline. Nothing too extreme, though. So just a slight or a slight eccentric orbit, sorry. So let's give you uh, something like that. Just a slight different, just to make it a little more unique. So there we go. So that is it for my cream system, I think. I'm not going yeah, to add any more moons. I, I, I doesn't, it doesn't really need it, I don't think. I think we've already done everything we can pretty much do with these. So yeah, this is the lineup. So we've got our enormous star. We've obviously got cream, big cream here. We've got champagne, the close one. Then we've got champagne too. Then we got um, Yatura. And then we got all of our um, rocky objects. So look at all this stuff. This is all, cr all cream colored as well. So there we go. So yeah, that is everything. Yeah, we won't have any little asteroids in here either. But yeah, that is it for the cream system, guys. So yeah, let me know what you think down below. And also, do you guys want me to release this and the lime green system tomorrow? And also, any other colored solar system that um, I have, do you want me to release them tomorrow, like during the live stream? Yeah, let me know. But yeah, let's call it cream system. So it's all saved. So there we go, and yeah, there we go, done. So yeah, if you guys um, believe this video deserves it, then make sure you hit that like button, tap the bell for notifications when I upload new videos, and also if you haven't already, subscribe. Helps on the journey to 5,000 subscribers, because yeah, we're already halfway almost now, so yeah, I can't thank you guys enough for that, like I said already, just it's absolutely amazing, like, wow, I, just, I still can't believe it. it is absolutely um, mad. But yeah, that is everything. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Obviously, if I should release this in the green system. And yeah, remember, the live stream will be tomorrow about 6, 7 p.m. UK time around there. I'll release a video a little before I do it, hopefully as well, just to let you know. And I'll let you know on the Discord as well if, you've, um, if you're in there. So if you haven't joined, then make sure you join it if you haven't, obviously. So yeah, that is everything. So yeah, make sure you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.